guys, welcome back to another Whiteboard Wednesday. Continuing on from last week, we're expanding on the beetroot juice topic. So last week we looked at the mechanism behind how beetroot juice improves performance. Now let's take a look at some of the details about how we can integrate that into our own nutrition plan to improve our own performance. So we're going to take a look at how much we need, the timing of it, what form is best to get nitrate or beetroot juice in and cooked versus raw and how that may change a few things. So a lot of the research, a lot of the early research looked at using 500 mils of beetroot juice before exercise. Now 500 mils is quite a lot of beetroot juice, about two glasses worth. There is some sort of anecdotal evidence that consuming that much can cause some stomach upsets in some people. Uh, in new research, it's been shown that there has seen a similar performance improve with only 300 mil, so you could dial it back a little bit. Or now they're coming out with concentrated shots, and that you can use a shot and still get the uh, performance improve, improvement that 3 or 500 mils will deliver. So you've got a few options on this sort of if you're just using the juice or using the concentrate, how much you're going to need of each. Now the timing. Ideally you want to be taking beetroot juice about two to three hours before competition or before your main race. And this is so that, that uh, those nitrates have time to be broken down to form that nitric oxide to get that vasodilation so that you can get the full benefits from it. Now I often get the questions, you know, should I use beetroot juice during training? And the answer is we don't really know. If you're just con consuming beetroot juice daily, it's probably not going to have a great effect on your performance. It's probably very good for your health. If you're middle-aged, you're suffering from high blood pressure, I'd suggest getting on the daily beetroot uh, wagon just to help keep that blood pressure down. But for training, it's probably not going to improve your training performance much. I would tend to use beetroot juice during some key training sessions. So if you've got a really key interval set or a really long brick session, say on the weekend, doing the two to three hours before that key session, you're going to experience the benefits that beetroot juice provides. You're probably going to be able to push that session a bit harder, potentially get some more benefits from it. Also, using it in training is going to help you know that come race day, you're not going to have any GI issues or anything like that. So definitely test it in training, but you're probably not going to get many benefits from just continuously drinking it day to day to day, unless you've got high blood pressure and you're after the health benefits. However, there's not a lot of research around that training, so watch this space. I may have some more... Uh, research for you later on, but we'll keep you posted. Now the form, beets are only one form to get that nitrate in. Other foods that contain similar levels of nitrate are celery, spinach, and rocket, or arugula, depending on what hemisphere you live in. So if beets don't really do it for you, you could look at getting your nitrate levels uh, through some other forms especially if you're after the health benefits of the nitrates, integrating these sort of foods into your, into your diet becomes fairly easy, especially if you're not a fan of the old beetroot. Now, cooked versus raw. If you're consuming celery, spinach, or rocket, light steaming can actually improve the availability of the nitrate for your body. However, if you've ever cooked beets, you know that if you just lightly steam them, they're still not going to be edible. So light steaming of beets is pretty much out. But these other ones, you can get away with light steaming. If you cook it for a long time at a high heat, it decreases the availability of the nitrate in the food. So avoid prolonged cooking if you're looking for the performance benefits. When it comes to juicing, this is where you're probably going to get the best results on nitrate availability, especially when it comes to beets that you can't lightly steam. 
So juicing or getting it from a concentrate um, is, is probably going to be your best option when it, when it comes to this. So there you have a little bit of information. Definitely something that you should look into if you're into getting small incremental uh, performance improvements. Just like anything though, it's not a silver bullet. If you just go out there and start eating beetroot, drinking beetroot juice daily, it's not going to turn you into a superhuman. You still have to train, you still have to put in the hard work, everything else. But this here, just another little bit of icing on the cake that you can take away so you can be a little bit smarter about what you're doing. If you've got any more questions, keep them coming. I'll keep adding them to my list, giving you the good information so you can train harder and smarter.